Welcome back to the Austria into Germany campaign. This is the next episode, and we have formed Germany, and we look to expand our influence around the world, expand into Africa and elsewhere, consolidate and improve our economy, and expand worldwide and get the number one great power. So right now, um, lots of things are a mess. We are we are constructing things that's costing us a hundred thousand um, because we expanded our construction capacity once we in, we took over the rest of Germany. So I unpaused the buildings after the war. So we'll build through those. We still have a lot of uh, credit rating uh, to go through. So we'll let it we'll let it all play out. We are almost uh, we're almost balanced between debt and credit. So. Uh, we'll take on a little bit of debt here. Um, unfortunately, with the increase in um, unhappy pops, a lot of our interest groups are also a little peeved off. Uh, but only the worst. The worst only being the rural folk. Uh, again, 20, 39 states in turmoil. That's going to take some time just so that we can uh, integrate those states into our into the realm, so to speak. Uh, there are session, secession movements possible, so we need to be prepared for that. That is for sure. Uh, Wallonian is the only secession movement right now. So we're actually, I had some, I was using decrees, uh, violent suppression. Uh, we're going to take that off here and do that against the Wallonians, which I believe would be maybe in the North Rhine in German Wallonia. Maybe that will help st uh, stamp out the secessionists. So one of the biggest issues right now is the German standard of living is falling way behind France and Great Britain. Now, for considering the first 20 or so years of the game has been pretty much constant warfare before, be, between Austria and Prussia, seems to be understandable. But we're working towards improving that first and foremost. Most. Running a... Uh, we won't be running a profit yet. We might have to destroy some wasteful buildings i might run a little bit in the deficit to try to build more buildings that are profitable and we can start increasing our revenues uh new government uh conservative party wins again though so going through and uh changing a lot of uh production methods especially since we just annexed a whole bunch of new territory has put us back into a positive balance so We'll keep tweaking with with those things. It even increased standard of living as some of the lower standard goods for uh, impoverished pops or lower strata pops had made it more affordable also. So like grain production has greatly increased and uh, regular clothing has, even though it's still pretty high for our lower strata pops, um, has become more attainable for them. So it was hovering, I think, over plus 10%. Compared to base price, it is down to plus 7%. Right now with the military, we've switched to cannon production. It was a mixed bag since we annexed new territory. We'll keep it at cannon and then maybe switch to uh, smooth bores as we improve our economy. We are on, we have switched to full rifle production though. It did not seem to affect us too much. I think Prussia must have had most of their arms industry under rifles. And then changing to filing cabinets will definitely uh, definitely increase our um, bureaucracy at a small cost. I'm willing to take the small cost. General protest Albert von Hessen Darmstadt has brought to light some questionable habits that Franz von Vandera partakes in and is demanding they be fired. We can't fire him. Oh, okay, yeah, maybe we can. Radical pop situation seems to be stabilizing. Hopefully we can start making even more impact on that number. Get it into the negative. Yeah, still going through a changing production methods. Yes, some of the um, increased costs to produce this stuff. But it is uh, being outweighed by actual real revenues generated by the change in production. So after making several changes to uh, production methods... And even reducing port capacity, since we inherited so many ports, we actually don't need to um, yet, not have yet, increase our convoy capacity. But our balance sheet definitely looks good. 
Well, we are in the black and profitable. Now, we aren't building anything right now, but we have accumulated some investment pool. So we are setting ourselves up now to start really ramping up our industry as Germany. We are going to declare our interest in the Congo and maybe uh, hopefully begin to uh, establish colonies there. Here's our current diplomatic situation. Everyone's pretty neutral or hating on us. Uh, we are carrying a large uh, infamy score still, over 90. Uh, so I stopped improving relations with Great Britain to increase that 25% infamy decay. So I lied about the convoys. It looks like we do need convoys. No big deal. We'll switch production. And we can go to individual ports and change production method or type of port it is. So radicals finally being reduced by 2 million at a time since December 6, 1853. So we've increased uh, standard of living 12.1. That um, doesn't seem like very much right now, but when after all the wars against Prussia, it was down to like 11.5. We um, still have a long way to go to catch up to France and Great Britain, but we'll get there. We the ball is in our court. So we're going to, even though France is trying to colonize here in the Congo, we're going to colonize there too. What are they going to do? We're a unified Germany, a mega Germany right now. So I don't know what, um, you know, if they get upset that we're colonizing there too, oh, so be it. So the scramble for Africa is on, as we see... The Dutch, the French in Congo, Portuguese. So Italy did form uh, this a disjointed Italy as Parma and Modena. And Luca did not join the Italian movement, the Italian unification movement. We are building relations with the Netherlands and the Swiss. Try to bring them into our sphere of influence. We've decided to take a more active role an interest in the Balkan region, and we are actively decreasing relations with the Ottoman Empire, as we would like to access the more access to the Mediterranean Sea, and also to consolidate the region, consolidate the region so that it does not potentially blow up like a powder keg. Newly formed Progress Party has been established so achieve the central archives uh with filing cabinets um, i love bureaucracy plus five percent or three thousand k progress towards identification documents we'll do that so with that added bureaucracy we can go into our institutions and see what we can do maybe push colonization a little bit further along so we've increased to level two colonial affairs and level two law enforcement. That should help speed up the process of uh, eliminating so much turmoil that we have. We're on the right track, but it, anything to help speed up the process of reducing all the turmoil in our states. Because we are not working at our full potential as Germany. And integration is coming along. Just had another election. Conservatives remain in power. We're going to try to appoint our bureaucrats. That will gain us uh, plus 25% taxation capacity. And plus 25% intelligentsia political strength. Yeah, France is establishing colonies very quickly. The Ottoman Empire and Egypt are at war. War goals for Ottoman Empire to return Lebanon. And Egypt to open their market. I'm sorry, that would be Egypt returning Lebanon to Ottoman Empire. Finally, the Ripper murderer at large completed. That's a pain in the ass event. So we head into 1860 as the third ranked power. GDP is only second to China. Um, now our standard of living um, is still behind Great Britain and France, but is moving up pretty quickly now as we've got things going we do have the highest population in Europe, uh, outpacing actually Russia and France by 20 million. Now, I did just take off a services com uh, consumption tax, uh, which actually we w was uh, adding 60,000 
to our bottom line, but we're still making a balance of 88,000. I'm not building that much right now, but we're going to get ready to do that. Um, I think our goals going into the next decade is to really push the limits of expansion um, and see where that takes us. Maybe not push the limits, but see what we can get away with. We're still notorious infamy at 55. Uh, maybe we'll try to take smaller territories, maybe liberate Serbia or just take Serbia outright. Our, our next focus will be in uh, maybe the Balkans, possibly maybe invading uh, somewhere in Africa as we slowly develop our colonies. So probably that's what we'll end up doing here in the next decade. All right, it is 1860. We have formed Germany as Austria, and now we are ready to take on the rest of the world. We've kind of stabilized our economy for the most part. We are making good income, although radicals still remain high, but are dropping uh, very quickly. Uh, they were dropping at an even faster rate about uh, two years ago. We were we had to deal with almost 20 million in radicals when we won the German Unification War eight years ago. So we still have some internal issues to deal with, but we can probably go out on some colonial expeditions. We are forming a colony in the Congo. Let's start building railways. We'll probably consider expanding our coal and engine production plus wood production. If we have to import some of that too, we'll do that. But why don't we start expanding our rail networks we are also going to expand our construction capacity too, because we can afford it. We're going to inf uh, work on influencing the the Western powers that are a little wary of us now. Uh, we already have a trade deal with France, so France has remained somewhat somewhat uh, cooperative with us. Spain, on the other hand, and Great Britain are wary and antagonistic. Maybe it might be actually a better idea to strike relations with Russia. But at the moment, I want access to Great Britain's markets. Uh, maybe we'll switch it up with Spain, actually. Actually, we are going to remove some of the improved relations, just because we still have 55 infamy, and I want the infamy decay. So, yeah, we want to drive infamy down as fast as possible. So We're going to keep the relations building with Great Britain, though. We're going to look to try to enact a law that would appoint our bureaucrats so we're gonna start that we're also going to bolster the intelligentsia which should attract more pops and power to the to that interest group we're also going to bolster the bourgeoisie to give them more clout or try to improve their clout currently our government is still headed by Ferdinand von Habsburg now he is uh, unpopular but he also has some other um, he has plus 20% authority, a masterful diplomat with the plus 20% influence. Um, he is arrogant, also generating low, low popularity. His heir, Archduke Franz Joseph von Habsburg, we'll take a look at him and his traits. He is cautious, minus 100 influence, but minus 20% infamy generation, so getting him... Uh, at the head of state might um, be very good for us. Popular commander, plus 20% command limit, and plus 10% prestige as a ruler, plus 20% influence as a ruler. We have two main political parties, the Conservative Party and the Progress Party. Other notable factions are the rural folk with a 14.1% clout. We are currently, our legitimacy is 91%, so we currently are able to enact laws pretty quickly or at least vote on them pretty quickly we may reform the we may try to reform the government add the bourgeoisie to it and now that changes to 57 percent enactment time or legitimacy but it should help us it should help us enact um appointed bureaucrats faster so you see it now it has uh, jumped up to 13.7% enactment chance. 